Hello, this is Krista again. I'm making uh, peanut butter cup muffins now. So um, I just normally make six muffins for myself for the week because my family really doesn't eat it. But um, I love this recipe. I've made it a couple times and these muffins are only one smart point. So um, on blue. So I'm loving that. So um, what you need is two bananas, ripe bananas if you have them, which mine aren't really that ripe. They're a little bit ripe, but um, you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. The uh, washer and dryer are kind of in the cupboard or whatever and right off of the dining room. So, all right. So, Two bananas here. Get that out of there. I, I don't know why, but um, of course I have been craving anything peanut butter, and peanut butter is, you know, really high in points. Unless you eat PB2, which I do, I eat quite a bit of PB2 in things, and um, I also make it for sandwiches and I eat it on ice cream and all kinds of stuff like that. But um, I don't know, chocolate peanut butter muffins. Yum! And these are really good. Uh, I don't I don't know why I just love these. And I think it's because they're made with real peanut butter. Um, but because you're only going to use one tablespoon of peanut butter, it's uh, low in points. In fact, it's only one point because you're dividing that tablespoon by six. So, um, so yeah. So I wish these bananas were a little more ripe, but today's Sunday and I try to make uh, most of my stuff on Sundays, if I can. So um, Sundays and Mondays, I usually kind of meal prep between the two days. So if I can today too, I'll make some breakfasts. I'm out of eggs, so I don't know. I'll have to go get some more eggs, but so I'm using them up for this recipe. All right, well, this is pretty good. All right, so two bananas. Um, I need two eggs. I try to mix up the wet stuff first. We need we go. a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, you can see I don't really measure that. Just pour a little bit in. Then we need um, half a cup of, uh, this here is the Kodiak dark chocolate. It's, oh my gosh, so delicious. It's high in protein and low in points. And then, um, let me get something here. Here's our tablespoon of peanut butter. This is just plain old Walmart, great value peanut butter. That's what my little one eats. So I eat it once in a while, but yeah, I try not to because it's, oh my God, it's so high in points, but it's so delicious. All right, that, and then what else do we need here? Oh, a 
tablespoon of sweetener. So I have um, this here, which is monk fruit sweetener. It's the best. It doesn't bother my stomach. A lot of the sweeteners kind of bother me. So one tablespoon of that. And then we're gonna mix all this up together. Because it's only a half a cup of the um, the Kodiak mix, it's like I don't know four points or something. And it does have like little tiny chocolate chips in it, which is really delightful. So basically, this is a half a cup of chocolate, dark chocolate Kodiak mix, um, two ripe bananas mashed, two eggs, a tablespoon of peanut butter. A tablespoon of sweetener and um, a teaspoon of vanilla and then I'm going to put a couple of did I get it out? No. I'm gonna put a couple chocolate chips on the top these here are um, Lily's sugar-free baking chips you can have like 30 for one point or something like that I don't know or one serving is 30. We're not doing anything like that. I'll put just like three or four on the top of each one. So, all right, so that's all together. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna spray our open pan and we're gonna bake them at 350 for 18 minutes. Hold on, love. Sorry, my little one's calling me. I'm just gonna fill these up somewhat. Oh, shish. Sorry, it's always a little chaotic here. Between the little one, the dogs, my husband. Hold on, sweetheart. dog licking my leg right now. Hello, buddy Roo. <laughs> so funny. Hi, guys. And we have two little dogs, so very cute. All right. Okay, so let's put a couple of these on the top. Just for kicks. Gross. Oh, it's this fly in my house. Ugh. No, stay. Alright. Alright, so we're going to put this in the oven now for 18 minutes on 350. All right, I'll show you a picture of the finished product. 